so good day everyone so for today I'm gonna click the word materials and I'm gonna practice my broken English by answering some hypothetical question so I'm gonna click the phrase conversation topics so I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna answer some hypothetical questions here as you can see the hypothetical questions are composed of 150 topics so I'm gonna click you know show more and then these are the topics about the hypothetical questions that I'm going to answer in order for me to practice my broken English so lesson number one so I'm gonna begin with Lesson number one, accidents. So this is an intermediate level. So I'm gonna click that. And these are the questions. So yeah, let me zoom it. Uh, zoom it in, zoom it bigger so you can see the questions. So the questions are, you know, composed of 10 hypothetical questions. So I'm gonna answer number one. I don't know if I could do this, but yeah, let me try. So what would you do if a traffic accident happened in front of you? Wow. What would I do if a traffic accident happened in front of me? Well, of course, first and foremost, I would be calling the ambulance and I will check the casualties, you know, those people who were involved in the accidents. And the best thing to do is to call the police. So there will be the one you know uh, assisting those victims with injuries or you know um, people who are maybe dead but I'm hoping that there's no you know casualties like dead people so I think the best thing that I can do is to call the ambulance and also the authorities the police so yeah that is my answer in number one number two if you accidentally bump into a parked car and no one saw you, what would you do? Well, if I accidentally bump into a parked car and no one saw me, what would I do? Well, I have to be honest, okay, so because I caused an accident. You know, I bump into a car and of course, I would check if, you know, if there is a if there is a serious you know damage that I cause but if there's no damage I'm just gonna let it you know let it go I just I'm just gonna move on and do nothing but if I saw that there's something serious damage on the car of course I'm I would be you know calling the owner of the of the park car and then I would talk to him and then I'm gonna pay I think that is the best thing to do that I can you know that I can do so yeah that's my answer on number two now let's uh, let me answer number three how would you feel if you knew that you caused an accident of course that's gonna be a terrible feeling you know no one wants to cause any accident um, yeah that is my answer of course it will be a feeling of I will be you know I, I will I would feel terrible Know? So yeah, that's my answer in number three. I don't know how to express my thoughts. So, you know, I'm, I'm still learning and I'm practicing my English because my English is broken, you know. Um, I'm not a native speaker, so please understand the viewers. So, number four. If you cause a serious accident, would you be able to drive again? Of course. I will be able to drive again even if I cause a serious accident even though it's very traumatic but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit or stop driving because of that serious accident you know anyone can experience accident and of course that is a I don't know if that is a normal thing but accident is an accident you know you, you're not in control of it you know so I wouldn't be, you know, stopping driving because I caused some serious accident. I would still continue driving, you know. And the best thing to do is settle, you know, settle the accident. If I cause any harm, of 
course, I would apologize and pay for the hospital bills of those people that I caused an accident. Yeah, I don't know what I, if I'm saying it right, but yeah. Ah, okay, number five. If you found an animal on the road that had been hit by a vehicle, what would you do? Well, what would I do if I found an animal on the road of that, that, that had been hit by a vehicle? Of course, I'm gonna help the animal, but of course, it depends on the situation. If the animal is a lion, I'm not gonna do anything. But if it is a dog or a cat, of course, I'm gonna help it, you know. I'm gonna help the, 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 the domesticated animal, but if it is a wild animal, no, I'm not gonna do anything because that's gonna be a dangerous for me. Okay, so yeah, that's my answer. I don't know if you are satisfied with my answer, but yeah, let let me answer number six. What would you do if you were offered a ride by a friend who had caused several accidents in the past? I'm gonna decline. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna come with a friend because I knew that friend of mine caused a lot of accidents, and I don't wanna die early. So I would just tell him that okay, I, I'm I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Um, I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'm I'm gonna pass. So yeah, that's it. I don't know what to say anymore. So let me go to number seven. Number seven. If you found a person injured in a car accident, would you try to help them by yourself or would you call an ambulance? Of course, the best thing to do is to call the ambulance, especially that I'm not an expert. Um, expert of giving some first aid. I'm just, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. I don't know what to do, so I will be calling the ambulance. Yeah, that's my answer. Number eight. If you witness a hit and run accident, what would you do? Oh my god, that is a terrible thing to witness. Well, of course, I will be um, looking for the plate number of that car who caused a hit and run accident. I will I would memorize the plate number of that car and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call the police and I would report the incident. You know, so that one, the driver who caused a hit and run to the victim will be punished. So yeah, that is the thing that I'm gonna do. Number nine Number nine, if your friend became afraid of driving after experiencing an accident, what would you tell them? What? If your friend became afraid of driving after experiencing an accident, what would you tell them? Well, so of course, I'm going to tell that friend of mine that, you know, that is just normal. And it, everyone, not everyone, but, you know, Anyone can experience, you know, accident. So you have to continue. Do not be afraid. So mm, do not be traumatized. You just need to continue. Do not quit and do not stop um, driving again. So maybe in the, in the next time you have to be careful and cautious so you wouldn't cause any accident anymore. So. When you experience or cause an accident, of course, in the next time, you will be cautious. You would take care of uh, yourself on the road and be careful. I think that is, that is the advice that I'm going to say. Yeah, I don't know. But number 10, if you could change the traffic laws in order to decrease the number of traffic accidents, what would you change? Oh, I don't even know. I'm not actually driving, you know. I don't even know how to fucking drive. But, um, what law? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of law am I going to change. But, I would just let those authorities to change, authorities to, to change the law, the traffic laws. But me, as an ordinary citizen, I don't know what to say. So yeah, I'm not satisfied with this hypothetical question that I have answered, but I think it's a good practice for me to, you know, to think, to 
practice my um, con yeah my spoken English um, yeah even though it's broken yet but I do believe that if I'm gonna practice for um, two years from now um, I will be able to be fluent so yeah that's what I believe so I have to persevere in this kind of practice so yeah thank you for listening to my broken English. <laughs>